Go, go.
Any tidings? Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it, and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher, that beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still me family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye. I will. Pay ye twice the fee. But in a week's time, once I've made up some of me losses. Fine. So be it. But you remember that I'll remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank ye, Witcher. Thank ye kindly, my lord. My little I bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. Lower. Giving me no 
choice.
bastard, shut up! Oh, don't let him catch his breath! Son of a goat! Oh, you witch fucker! Die. We'll flail your skin off. some. Thank you. 
I'm too old for treks that long. Where'd you come from? Run, Roach. Get off. Get him! Come on!
Let's go! Across the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Go, go. Hey, you, halt. Geralt of Rivia, correct? You were in White Orchard recently. Near Vizim. Mm-hmm. Charming village, if you don't mind rotting corpses. There'd have been one more if not for you. Lena, she survived, thanks to your potion. Nice to see an elf guardian soldier so concerned about the fate of some simple Nordling. But kind of surprising, too. That night, when the Griffin attacked her, she was on her way to meet me. In the woods, near the garrison. Mm -hmm. Love knows no bounds. Not so. Her parents told her that if they saw her with a nymph guardian, they would shave her head, cut out her tongue, and banish her from their own. Listen, Lena. She has not fully recovered. I took her with me when I was transferred. Thought she might get better. But no. She says nothing, recognizes no one, sleeps most of the day. I warned Tamira. Witcher potions have powerful, usually permanent side effects. Can't do anything to help now. Maybe a mage could. I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for not letting her die. Trust me, the choice I had to make was harder. I saw you as you. Greetings! Wouldn't. Farewell. I have come from far away, I... to seek my son. He served in the Nazari cavalry. I must find him, I simply must. I'm not one of your soldiers. This is good. Our army refused to help. Yet help is what I need. So much so, I will ask a rock troll if required. Interesting train of thought, ma'am. Why did you decide to look for your son now? He wrote letters. To me, to his fiancée, regularly. They would come in the post each week. And suddenly, they stopped. This was unlike him. Something had happened, I knew. His brothers in arms tell you anything? Some will not speak at all. Others lie. This quartermaster, for instance. He told me Herodoberth, my son, left the camp to scout and did not return. Why is that unlikely? He serves in the Light Cavalry, Miseri Brigade. My son was no scout. I require someone's help to find Herodoberth or his body. Coin is no object. What's your son look like? Unlike others, easily distinguished. In all Nilfgaard's army, I do not think there was another with his mane. The color of fire. A red-haired Nilfgaardian? 
His father hailed from Magturga. Folk have like complexions there. My son inherited this trait and others from his father. May I count on your help? Do my best to help you. You will not regret it. There is nothing I would not do for Heroda birth. Remember this. I'll ask around, see if I can learn something. My servant strove to do the same. He drank with the soldiery in the mess, but met no one from my son's company. It is as if it has ceased to exist. You must speak to the quartermaster. He is dismissive of me, but he will be more candid with you. I can feel it. A mother feels these things. Guess we'll see. Got an offer. So long. Who are you? Why do you sniff around here? Looking for work. Wait, wait. Two swords, eyes like slits. You are a witcher, is that so? Geralt of Rivia. I have not heard the name. But you will find work here, this I know. <coughs> you look tired, Quartermaster. Been stationed here long? Too long. But the day will come when the Emperor's banner will fly first over Novigrad, then over Tretigorf, and we will all go home. Show me where you're battling. Been a while since I played cards with a subject of His Imperial Majesty. Game of Gwent? Let's lay him down.
Greetings, Quartermaster. Honor and glory, Geralt. How can I help? Found your notice. Ah, yes. You witchers are said to be excellent trackers. If this is true, you may indeed be able to aid me. Some days ago, I sent a unit of scouts to the wood across the road. None has returned. Find my men, and bring them back to camp. I will pay you well, as it stands in the notice, and not a copper more, mind you. You must have order in the ledgers as well. Local peasants don't exactly see you as liberators. Say what you mean, Richard. Small unit, isolated area. Might have gone to your men with pitchforks. A handful of yokels in ragged foot wrappings cut down a unit of Imperial scouts. What else? Perhaps a dragon ate them. A blurred yoke. Why'd your men go to the woods? Any specific reason? None. A patrol as the cold ordains. Fine. I'll look into it. Begin your search across the lake, where we saw them cross. And good luck. Greetings, Quarter. Honor and... Ran into a woman, an elf guardian, who's looking for her son. I knew this one was stubborn. I did not know she would hire a witcher. Let's say a mother's tears moved me. What if all Nilfgaard's mothers came to find their sons? Can you imagine? Only met one, and promised to help her. I'm to reveal our troop movements to some Nordling. Now focus, and tell me everything you know. Yes, I will. Red-haired whelp, Nazari Cavalry. A short time ago, he and several of his company sought to desert. I ordered them pursued. We caught some in the swamp not far from here. Others managed to flee. The men you caught, what happened to them? We hanged them. Wartime rules. But I cannot say the red-haired boy was among them. You're an elf guardian officer. Expected you to be more conscientious. If I had reported that any had fled, I would have had to pursue them. I've neither the time nor the resources. So I wrote that all are dead. Unlikely any survived long in the swamp. See if I can't find them. Something else to know for sure. Red hair. Probably him. Need to find something else to know for sure. Letter to his mother. Least I can do is get it to her. But that's it.
guardians camped here. Left in a hurry. Boot prints, and also some bare feet. Strange. Need to follow these deeper into the woods. Boot prints, and also some bare feet. Strange. Need to follow these deeper into the woods. North Guardian prints again. Came this way escorting a group of barefoot peasants, or was it the other way around? North Guardian prints again. Came this way escorting a group of barefoot peasants, or was it the other way around? North Guardian prints again. Came this way escorting a group of barefoot peasants, or was it the other way around? What's that stench? Bodies strangely contorted. This one was poisoned. North Guardian prints again. Came this way escorting a group of barefoot peasants, or was it the other way around? Wyvern. Wonderful.
Greetings, Quartermaster. Honor and glory, Geralt. Found your soldiers, meaning their bodies. Female wyvern killed them. They wandered into her hunting ground. A wyvern? Blue de pist. Your men must have provoked her. I see. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, as in the notice, never failed. to learn anything. I was. I wish to know the truth. Be it sweet, be it painful. I wish to know. Your son is dead. How did it happen? He deserted, was caught and hanged. Lies! Found him hanging next to others. Notice posted on the tree was clear. I do not believe you. My son was no coward. Believe what you will. Found a letter on him, addressed to you. Mother, this may well be the last time I write. In all my letters I have lied. Forgive me. I am no hero. I take no pleasure in killing Nordlings. This place is a nightmare. I have borne it until now. I can bear it no longer. Not long past, they ordered us to murder prisoners. Do you know what this means? Kill defenseless men. I must flee this place. Darling child. For it. You have found him for me. Your payment. Take it. You're in your country. Have a hard time fighting the war here, watch out. He gets soused. He gets angry. And he's always drinking. Fox on a lot of you.
I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Still seems like your fault to me. Will you let me finish? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologised, 
how many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference, broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. Though as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Don't know why you're telling me all this. Your relationship with your wife? Your concern, not mine. Ah, a witcher. Should have expected as much. Very well then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them, but thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed. Right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth!
leave him like that. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where do you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. There you are. Sorry, I knew this never end. 
What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damned foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, oh, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone wagered him and we played. If anyone was desperate, he was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsons blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny fart. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Stealing the goods and blinding those poor bastards. Made the Baron sad, is it? Now I'll have them stick a hot poker in your eye. Fox on a lot of you. No! Probably so hungry he's eating his own snot. Love to, but not till the morning. Got eyes like a cat. You Gods catch me? have turned from us. Wouldn't mind a look at your stuff.
so long. No, the price for their help. Blood. Why the devil are there witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blob tits, did they? I, I, I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's boring. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Last road with them. Asking after a mother, Constant. Lass. We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. With the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down. Plowing swamp. Fox-ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns, fuck me. What will these hayseeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Oh, right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for him out of the kindness of our hearts. Good as gold, that would. Always. See not many all at once in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we
That fear children. Through you. Brawny bird. Bird? Me? Fear? Not on your life. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace, show these horrors who's in charge. did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her. Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes-man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! But just to see if it's firm. But it 
It's fresh. So, so pretty. Oh, Mother. Take pity. <laughs> but I played it. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Wolves? Perhaps. Didn't sound like. Because it wasn't. Get ready. a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. 
sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough! I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick. Weakened. Where would you take her in this state? Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood bye. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell. It must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. Before we do anything, we've got to get her out of here. Crones know we've come for her. Might send another monster, something worse than a fiend. I'll not go anywhere until you tell me you can help her. Break the spell. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I know a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties to the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. You were right to let your father take We could do nothing more. How could the Witcher, if she can be helped? Perhaps you're right. Men, we've had a hard day. The fight was tough. We have no this, I know. The eternal flame will burn away our sins. What are you looking at?
picture. If that hot sits in the old oak tree, Come on!
where there's ghouls, there's usually corpses. out. It's safe now. Ah, a witcher. What happened? No guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. Something stinks, and I don't mean the corpses. Was how it was. I dwell on it. You're hiding something. Gonna find out what it is. There's not here. Black ones didn't even find anything. Out of my way. Handiwork of ghouls. Speed to ye. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. Ghouls tore the dog to bits. Soldiers died some other way. Thrown to the ground with great force, internal hemorrhaging. Scent of blood still strong. Ought to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? You're all still in danger, and only I can help. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. The beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling had collapsed. Didn't bury the monster, though. 
What did the monster look like? It were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how did it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nilfgaardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. Off your melon and shit down your neck! Don't let him touch his breath! God.
Farewell. You the ones destroying shrines all over Valen? What's that got to do with you? What's it got to do with you? We are the Heralds of Lightning. Heavy drops from leaden clouds. Unleashed, the Lightning's name shall be Overman. The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath. The wrath of the gods? The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains, the dying embers of superstition that harms. Great. Need a favor, though. You gotta clean up after yourselves here. Then go back to wherever you came from, dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses. The gods are dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. Amusing as this little show is, I'm getting bored. Leave, and don't come back. Oh, what? Or I'll tell on you to the headmistress. Repression! Attack the system's lackey! Ever fight a witcher? Oh! 